Hey guys, how are ya? Welcome back to my channel, it's me, Steven. I'm laughing at my own little thoughts in my head right now. I stopped off at McDonald's for a cone because I was craving ice cream. And if I went to the store and bought a container of ice cream, no matter how big or small, I would eat the entire thing in like two sittings. So no bowl, just a spoon sitting in front of my computer. So I'm just having a cone. Um, I'm going to take a quick drive over to one of my favorite spots. I rarely stop there, but it's one of my favorite places in Las Vegas for just some chill enjoyment. Uh, and then I've got lots of chores to do at the house that aren't really worth filming. So uh, it's, a, it's a day off. I better eat this soon. It's, it's going to melt. Today's a day off, which means absolutely nothing is going on. I, there's just nothing to share with you. Uh, the cats were very cute today. Oh, my God. They were so cute. Buddy was, in particular, very sweet and loving. Oh, my God. He was so loving. He wanted to crawl into my lap, which was great. But he got in my lap, and he started to kind of knead my legs, like my lower, my uh, knee and my, my uh, thigh here. And he's like literally scratching into my skin. And I let him do it for a minute because like he's buddy and I'll let him do whatever he wants. But I was like, oh my God, buddy, stop. <laughs> I would have filmed it, but neither of us were wearing clothes. <laughs> so it would have been too much for YouTube. Um, let's see, let's see, let's see. Today I've got to make sure the cats have their food in their uh, dispensers, in their bowl. Both types, I have to make sure their water bowl is full, their water fountains are all full. Got to make sure to empty all three of their litter boxes. I could do these things yesterday, but um, I have to do laundry. I have, I have, uh, I need socks, underwear, t-shirts. I have to wash my uniforms, do some laundry. What else do I have to do? Oh, and meal prep, which means going to Sprouts. Uh, but so while today is a day off and nothing's happening, I have a lot to do. But I wanted this cone, and I wanted to stop over at this spot I'm going to bring you to in a minute. So, there we go. I'll see you over there. Where are we going? I don't know. Let's find out. All right, folks. So, we're on the corner of Eastern and Sunset. Right near, right along the airport. Look, the road is very rough. I'm sorry. But, if you look off to the right-hand side, you'll see the airport. If you look off to the left, you'll see that my camera lens must be very dirty <laughs> I apologize but uh, along the right hand side you see the airport they've been doing some construction uh, but about halfway down you're gonna see something pretty cool it's right here and I think we can enter here yes we can it is an observation sort of deck area for the airport so you can actually just sit here and watch airplanes if you are uh, an airplane person. <laughs> I know what they call those people who are really into aviation, but this is a very cool spot. You can see there are cars lined up here. Uh, a Southwest flight is just coming in. We've got the airport and the strip back there, and the cars continue down there. Here, I'm not sure if I can focus through the through the fence. Is a Southwest flight. So the planes will line up there at nighttime. You'll see a string of lights. It looks like a little necklace or something. Honestly, it looks like an alien invasion when they line up. But they all line up right here, and they're coming in from east to west, and they're landing here at, uh, at um, Harry Reid International Airport. Uh, this is Terminal 3, I think, over here. D-Gates, maybe. Uh, Terminal 1, where I work, is on the far side, and uh, a lot of our planes, depending on the weather, take off from, from over that side over there. But, uh, yeah, that's a fun spot to hang out if you're really into plane watching. Sometimes you'll see four or five little planes in a row. It's, it's pretty cool. Again, it looks like an alien invasion. I'm going to bring you one more place uh, where it's great for plane watching, and then I'm going to head home and do my chores. So let's head over there. So we're in Eastern right now. We just took a, a left um, off of Sunset, 
and we're going to take a right right here into the parking lot they're doing a lot of construction but do you see the plane dead ahead of me no one's behind me so you'll see there's a plane coming up uh, there's a car hold on <laughs> sorry to swing you up like that but a plane was just passing overhead as I got out of the car. So this is a very exciting parking lot, parking lot. There's a Taco Bell and a McDonald's that are frequent right down there. And I'll pop over here in front of this building and just watch planes fly overhead. And that's, here comes another Southwest plane. Who's this? Delta. Who is this? Who is that? So by the time these planes get to where I'm sitting right now, they are just literally feet from landing. They land across the street. They're probably 50 feet above you. So if you're looking for some drama in Las Vegas that doesn't involve feathers or dice or other accoutrement, um, hang out in this parking lot. <laughs> that doesn't sound very good. At nighttime, you'll see a string of lights, as I mentioned earlier. It looks kind of dramatic, like it's in an alien invasion about to happen. You'll see a number of cars here in the parking lot. I suspect there's nothing nefarious going on. They might just be eating a burrito. <laughs> oh my God, I killed myself. I'm so sorry. Because I just went, yeah, yeah, you did too. Because um, when I come down here at night to watch planes and stuff, I, I'll stop at that Taco Bell. <laughs> and I'll grab a taco burrito and I'll just hang in the parking lot and watch planes as I eat my burrito. And maybe there's other things going on. <laughs> Oh my god i'm so sorry oh there goes my pg rating um oh on a serious note on a serious note <gasps> on a serious note um i've received a couple messages an email and there's at least one comment in my comment section about what's going on with my airline so i don't know what's going on i really don't i do know that the airline has offered voluntary time off for flight attendants who don't want to work. Uh, they do get a certain number of hours credit towards their insurance and stuff. And I don't know if we get paid for those hours or not, but um, so they're offering voluntary time off for, it was October and now November. And then I think they're offering it for December as well. And I'm, I'm sure January. They've pulled a number of planes off the line to do some, um, to look at them if they need maintenance or something like that. I don't think that has anything to do with the VTO. I don't know. I do know that a few people, not a few people, a couple hiring classes who were planning on going to training received an email or a letter saying, sorry, but we're not moving forward with training right now. Now the top half of the letter looks like a thanks, but no thanks. Uh, the bottom half says something different, though, but the trauma of the first half kind of makes you skip over the salient points of the last half of that letter. The last half talks about how you're going to be the first people to be uh, to notify when training begins again because they've just halted training. It's not you. It's they've halted training. So if you have been offered a CGA with my company, it's not you. <laughs> Just wait, just wait. I know it's awful because some people were supposed to start training on like Halloween or something, and then they get this letter a week before. They've already spent money on clothes and luggage and blah blah blah. Uh, so just just sit tight, sit tight. Um, when I can share something with you that I can share, because there are things I can't say, um, I'll let you know what I hear. But um, so don't don't get upset. The letter is not what it looks like at first glance. Um, so there you go. Just keep it, keep a watch on your email. Okay. And if I hear, if I hear something on the, on the grapevine, I'll let you know. In the meantime, I'm going to stop thinking about burritos and parking lots. And then I'm going to go to uh, Sprouts, buy some food, go home, give the cats their treats, and then do some laundry. 
make sure everything's plugged in and charged for tomorrow. And there we are. Thanks for joining me today. I'm sorry for the colorful anecdote about the parking lot. I got to stop thinking about that. And I will see you tomorrow. All right. Fly safe. Bye. <laughs>